Well, let's go ahead and get started. So hello, everyone. Welcome to the North Seattle College Service Awards. I'm Vashti Bryant, the Dean for Math and Science. Hey, everyone. I'm Jesse Cooley, Director for our Business Bachelor of Applied Science BAS programs. We're excited to be your MCs today. Uh, today's service awards is our annual celebration of service from both past and present employees. What makes today's event so special is that it's a recognition of the work that happens every day. It's work that has been continuous despite budget challenges, remote operations, and even leadership changes for more than 50 years. Your work deserves celebration. First, we begin our program with the Land and Labor Acknowledgement led by Jordan Vinegas, Anna Pizzi Navigator of the Asian American and Native American Pacific Islander Serving Institutions, part of the College Access Partnership Department. Awesome, mahalo. Um, on behalf of North Seattle College, you know, we acknowledge that we occupy the traditional, ancestral, and unceded lands of the Coast Salish peoples, uh, Duwamish, Makoshu, Tulale, Snoqualmie, and Suquamish, continuing to honor their traditions, their cultures, their histories, and their customs. So we ask that we take this opportunity to thank the original caretakers and the stewards of this land, of the air, and the water who are still here. We ask that participants consider their responsibilities to the people and land both here and elsewhere and to stand in solidarity with native, indigenous and first nations people and their sovereignty, their cultural heritage and their lives. We acknowledge the forced and unpaid labor of enslaved peoples that is the foundation of the US and has not been compensated. It is our collective responsibility to critically interrogate these histories in order to repair harm in order to honor, in order to protect, and in order to sustain this land. And before I close out the land and labor acknowledgement, you know, I, I wanna share that land acknowledgements do not exist in this past tense or kind of like outside historical context. As we know, colonialism still happens today. It's an ongoing process. And I encourage that we all kind of be mindful, you know, by asking ourselves in what ways are we in participation? The use of a land acknowledgement statement also encourages individuals to think about what it means to occupy space here on indigenous lands. So with that being said, if it's okay with everyone, um, I would like to share a link within the chat uh, for ways you and you know, institutions and different systems can take micro, meso, and macro steps that move beyond the land acknowledgement. Mahalo. Thank you, Jordan, and thank you all for being here today. This year is especially important for us to celebrate the service and dedication of our community. Despite an academic year that challenged us with a varying mix of remote, hybrid, and in-person operations, we are a strong community because of the relationships we have built with each other and with our students. Today is all about recognizing and celebrating our community. We are so pleased you've chosen to work at North, whether this is your first year of service at the college, that's me, or your 30th. We're also joined today by Chancellor Sean Pan. Chancellor Pan, thank you for being with us today to celebrate. Thank you, Jesse, and good afternoon, everyone. It's truly my pleasure to be with you today to honor North's uh, outstanding employees. This event has always been one of my favorites. I look forward to helping share in the recognition of our colleagues and their impressive dedicated services. Last year, I had the honor of introducing Dr. Shimin Crawford, who had been named the full-time president of North. One year later, I would like to thank her for her dedicated outstanding leadership it's been a rewarding and challenging year. Thank you so much, Chancellor Pan. Uh, yes, we have learned a lot about overcoming all kinds of challenges over the last 12 months and beyond. And the main reason for our success has been our people. I'm so proud of the team here at North. And whether we're operating fully remote, in person, or somewhere in between, we've remained focused on our commitment to changing lives through higher education. 
this is very much a spirit of we can get it done no matter what. And as president of North, I cannot ask for anything more. We have amazing people and I'm excited to learn more about many of you during the next hour or so. Thank you to Vashti and Jesse for being our MCs today. And thank you, Dr. Crawford. And a big thanks to all of you for joining us today. Now let's kick off the celebration and get to the awards. We have a lot of folks to celebrate today. Today we celebrate just under 100 employees and their work anniversaries. We'll start with employees who have been with North for five years. Stephanie Dykes, Executive Director of Institutional Effectiveness and Mary Acob Nash, Dean of Student Support, will be recognizing employees with five years of service. And we wanna encourage all you proud Pacific Tree Frogs to hop over to the chat Send cheers, emojis, and congratulations to your colleagues. This year, we have a total of 26 employees who've achieved five years of service. We asked each employee if they were comfortable to share a photo. Congratulations to those employee who have been with North for five years. Gregory Behan, William Butterfield, Veronica Carpenter, Bruce Clark, Lyle Cruz, Jeffrey Eng, Alex Flores, Aaron Franco Ross, Jean Gallion, Katie Groover, April Matarowski, Matodi Mladenov, Maria Mora. Dr. Mary, I'll pass it your way for the rest of the list. Thank you, Dr. Stephanie. I'm honored to be part of the service awards and to recognize employees with enduring dedication to our college. Next, we have Heather Niekirk, Sarah Norsworthy, Tomoko Okada, Rocky Phelps, Grant Robinson, Justina Rompogan, Rampogren, Christina Sheehan, Noriko Tanaka, Lauren Thompson, Jasper Vishur, Matthew Warburg. Thank you and congratulations to you all. Again, please share your comments in the chat and give this group a big congratulations and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mary. Congratulations, all of our five-year uh, recipients. Next up, we have Brianne Sanchez, Director of Student Financial Services, and Johnny Mobley, Interim Director of Budget and Business Operations, to help us recognize employees with 10 years of service. Thanks, Stephanie, and good afternoon, everyone. This year, we have a total of 23 employees who achieved 10 years of service. Congratulations to everyone in 10 years. Parvane Amadi, Jose Amador, Catherine Becker, Sylvia Chai, Star Conrad, Cynthia Davis Van Lu, Melanie Farrar, Sarah Honreiter, Jim Jewell, Sylviana King, Tu Lam, Elvis Liu, and Johnny will take it from here. Hi everyone, uh, glad to be here. Uh, glad to be here to help honor the service and dedication of our friends and colleagues. The rest of the 10 year awardees are Deborah Lindsay, Kelda Martinson, Peter Marks, Victor Mocknock, Jeffrey Palmer, Grace Sakuma, Samuel Saldana Munoz, Don Smith, Kamika Styron, Pornpren and Chayapong, and Jamie Wilson. Thank you and congratulations to you all. Please share your comments in the chat and give this group a big congratulations and thank you. And now Ann Richardson, Director of Grants, will recognize our next awardees. 
Hello, congratulations to all of you with 10 years of service at North. Many thanks to each of you. And glad to see you all on chat. Keep sharing your thanks and congratulations. And now we would like to thank and recognize the 15 year service award recipients. This year we have 20 of you. Alyssa Agnello, Katie Barnt, Elizabeth Berger, Jonathan Blodgett, Daniel DeGidio, Keith Foe, Brian Howard, Amanda Knowles, Shan Lackey, Michael Montague, Mara McCulhey, McCul I'm sorry, McCulhey, Tam Wen, Brian uh, Palmer, Brian Palmer, Lauren Samostathis, Brianne Sanchez, Donald Sharp, Stephanie Solomon, Daniel Tarker, Prabhani Techley, and Clark Wellman. Thank you. And please continue to share your comments in the chat and give this group a big congratulations and thank you. Next, we will have we will recognize all employees with 20 years of service. Josh Ernst, our Director of Human Resources, will introduce them. Thank you, Ann, and congratulations to all of you all with 15 years of service at North. Now, I'd like to recognize the 13 employees with 20 years of service. <clears throat> Tony Anderson, Lori Bauman, Curtis Bonney, Beth Goss, Richard Hagar, Ed Hartman, Paul Carose, Ann Murkowski, Scott Rausch, Terry Stilson, Greg Tessenson, Jennifer Thomas, and Wen Thorsenson. Please help me recognize these outstanding employees by joining me in congratulations and thanks to our 20 year employees. Thanks you all for all that you do. And now Alice Melling will introduce our employees with 25 years of service. Thank you, Josh. I'd like to recognize eight employees with 25 years of service. Congratulations on 25 years. We are grateful for your dedication to the college. Jasmine Adamak, Janice Anderson, James Braden, Norm Karlstrom, James Eaton, Marla Lockhart, Jane Rice, and Brian Saunders. Congratulations and thank you. 25 years is a long time, a quarter century in fact. As a souvenir of this milestone, NSCC 25th anniversary keychains will be sent to your campus mailboxes. Now I'd like to pass it over to Pete Lortz for our 30 year employees. Thank you to Alice and congratulations to those of you with 25, 20, 15, 10, five years of service. Uh, I have the pleasure of introducing the three employees with 30 years of service. So congratulations to each of you. We appreciate the dedication and hours of commitment to North. Alicia Cripp, Jackie Hong, and Marsha Shaw. Congratulations to the three of you. And if you'd like, we can pause to let you share a few words about your 30 years here at North. Alicia, Jackie, or Marsha? Anybody want to turn on their camera and share a few words? My graduate advisor told me to wait a minute after I ask a question, but I won't wait a full minute. So we will move on. But again, congratulations to Alicia and Jackie and Marcia. I see Kelda's uh, comment in the chat and North is a better place for all, because of all three of you. So thank you. To 
uh, but uh, excuse me. Uh, so we, we thank you and uh, you will receive engraving gifts uh, delivered to you by the president's office. Now I turn the mic over to Dr. Crawford. Well, thank you, Pete. And for all the employees honored today, we like to recognize you with Seattle College's pins, uh, which will be sent to you in campus mail. Uh, once again, please help me recognize our outstanding employees uh, by joining me in a congratulations and thanks. Pete, you're up, faculty awards. Yeah, now I get the uh, opportunity to recognize awards and accomplishments of all North colleagues achieved in 21-22 academic year. You are all given the opportunity sub to submit some of your accomplishments, which are listed at the end of the PowerPoint and will be emailed out to the group as well. Please take a moment to read the work your colleagues have achieved throughout this year. Now we, I'd like to recognize, we'd like to recognize the 2122 League of Innovations Excellence Award recipients. Each year in instruction, the faculty and deans work together to nominate uh, outstanding faculty for the League and of Innovation Excellence Award. The award has been given out for more than 50 years and with the Seattle Colleges as charter members of the League, we have been uh, nominating uh, uh, employees each year. The League recognizes outstanding faculty, staff, and leaders in the community college field who've made a significant difference in the lives of students and in the communities that their colleges serve. This year, the three North Seattle College employees recognized for leadership and contributions to higher education and, and to the students are Sharka Faltanova, Faculty Basic and Transitional Studies. I I've had the great pleasure of sitting in on Sharka's classes, and in particular, I love the IBES classes that Sharka teaches with workforce instruction where she really gets the opportunity to show off her personality and engage with the students. Sharka is a dynamo in basic and transitional studies, both in the classroom and out. Thank you, Sharka. Amanda Knowles, faculty in arts, humanities, and social sciences, and more specifically in the arts. A lot of you know Amanda for the great work that she does with the art gallery and making us all aware of the events, helping to put those together and making us all aware of the events and she is also incredible with the students in the classroom. And finally, Jay Sook, faculty in math and science. Jay is in computer science and engineering uh, and has done an incredible job in this short time here, not only in those classes and with those programs and maintaining North's high reputation, but also Jay has become very active in the guided pathways transformation that the college is doing. And we look forward to continuing to work with Jay at that institutional level as well. Tremendous, tremendous thank you to the, to the three of you, all very well-deserved recipients of the League of Excellence Awards. Now I get the opportunity to invite members of the STARS Committee to announce the Classified Employee of the Year, as well as the Golden Stars for the winter and spring quarters. Casey? Hi there. My name is Casey Chow. Hello there. My name is Matthew Davenhall. Along with Sabrina Woodson, we are the STARS Committee, dedicated to campus morale and leadership amongst classified staff. Before we get to the Classified Employee of the Year Award, we'd like to announce the Winter and Spring Golden Star Employees of the Quarter. Dr. Crawford, would you like to do the honors? Absolutely. Thank you, Casey. Uh, just as a reminder, any employee is eligible for this award. And thanks to all who nominated these outstanding colleagues. The winter award goes to Kevin Mooney. And the spring award goes to Messeret Tesfe. Congratulations to you both on these well-deserved recognitions. You'll receive an engraved gift from the president's office. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. And now we'll have, have the honor of presenting the Classified Employee of the Year, which is 
is, which is an award that the store stars and the North community have celebrated for over two decades. The classified employee of the year must demonstrate respect, professionalism, a commitment to advancing North's missions and goals. They must exceed job expectation and have a cooperative spirit. Sorry. Each of the following individuals were nominated and share some or all of the outstanding characteristics. They represent all the areas of the college. We'd like to congratulate all the nominees. Meserit Tespe, Parvane Amadi, Rocky Phelps, Roberta Lord, Ruslana Chernetska. Okay. Alex, uh, Matlock, Casey Chow, Gracie Sakakuma, Janet Hopper Leonard, and Lorraine Redwood Woodman. It turns out that our classified employee of the year awardee is taking a much, much deserved uh, break and is not here today. So we have asked their supervisor to share their identity with us. Thanks, Casey. It's Mary. I'm so proud to announce that the none other then Janet Hoppy Leonard is the 2022 Classified Employee of the Year. And the crazy thing is she never takes time off and she took today off. And so, yes, she's on a much needed break. I'd like to read just a few sentences from the nomination about Janet. Everyone knows she's tireless. She's completely loyal and devoted. She is the epitome of a star quote unquote, employee. She is always willing to share her intense and vast knowledge of all things North. She's been a historian and a true guiding star to all the students, faculty, and staff. And if I stumble with any challenging task here at the college, Janet is my first resource. Everyone, please feel free to share your congratulations to Janet through the chat. Honestly, she'll kill me that she won this award because she really is super humble. And we will be sure to share your kind remarks with her when she returns, which is tomorrow. So thank you very, very much. Matthew, you are silenced. Thank you. We'll do it again. <laughs> Star is thrilled to recognize Janet. She will receive an engraved plaque and a gift from us. We all thank Janet for all our outstanding contributions to the North. And now I'm pass the mic to Dr. Penn to recognize our retirees. Thank you, Matthew. My congratulations to North Golden Star employees and the classified employee of the year. Now it's a very special moment because we want to recognize our retirees. This academic year, we recognize four employees who are retiring. They represent multiple disciplines from around the college. For sure, North's success has been and will always be dependent on people like these four retirees doing their jobs well and in service of our students. I encourage you to read their bios, which are shared at the end of the PowerPoint. These four employees will be missed tremendously. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, North and Seattle Colleges, our hearty congratulations on their retirement and thank you. So please help me recognize these four outstanding employees. Chris McCurdy, Matthew, Matthew Davenhall, Jane Haradin, and Tony Castro. I would like to uh, say that a few min minutes for any of these four retirees to say a few words if they wish. Tell us 
what's the lineup for the next page? What exciting things have you planned for yourself and your family? Anyone? I'm happy to share a few words, but I don't want to jump in front of any of my other retiree colleagues if they're ready to go. No, that's okay. Uh, you can go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, as I was, you know, preparing, I, 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 I will be as brief as I can, but I have been known to be a bit loquacious. And I just want to begin by saying thank you so much to the planning committee for inviting me to be with you all. It is really wonderful to see all of my dear student affairs colleagues, staff, administrators, and faculty um, who really uh, made an impression on me in the last three years of working with you all at North. Um, working with you, and I, I, I kind of want to chuckle and now uh, recommending to the planning committee, you know, the retirees maybe should go first because it's almost nap time for us. I've uh, <laughs> already walked five miles, had breakfast, had lunch, read a magazine, it's, uh, it's, but it's a good day. Uh, working with you all at the North Star, the last three years of my 33 year career in higher education and my 25th year celebration in the Washington Community and Technical Colleges is truly a career and professional highlight for me and working with you all during some of the most extraordinary times in higher education. Today, I come to you from beautiful Harstein Island with great, great news to share. My wife of 27 years, Reba, who many of you know, my greatest champion and critic, has given me an A plus in retirement. And we don't all get an A plus, as you all know. My days are filled with pickleball, health and wellness, long nature walks. Portuguese water dogs, grooming, gardening, traveling, uh, great food, community service, and definitely more time with my family and, and dear friends. I want to uh, applaud you all and best wishes uh, to the service award recipients and really congratulate you all for your dedicated service to North Seattle College. It's, it's commendable. I extend continued blessings and best wishes to students, faculty, staff, and administrators for your innovative work, advancing student learning and success. In closing, I want you to all know the Pacific tree frogs in the North Star will forever hold a special place in my heart. Um, I, I hope you'll all take care and I've got a cold drink waiting for me and a good magazine at poolside. So uh, again, it was great to see you all and I know it won't be the last. Take care and thank you to the planning committee and my best to you all. Thank you. If not, I will go. Hello there. First off, I wanna thank everybody for all the pleasure of working here. Um, some of you may not know, but I've actually taken classes at all three campuses at this in this community college system, varying from IT to uh, business and math classes. Um, it's been a pleasure, and um, the key man is going to say bye bye for a while for now, but I will be enjoy retirement after 41 years. So thank you again. Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome, Kevin. <laughs> All right. Is that is is that uh, does anyone else want to? No. Good. All right. Well, congratulations to everyone. All of our retirees and honorees. Uh, in a moment, we'll unmute our sound and give a big congratulations to all of our retirees and employees recognized today. And a special thank you to our MCs and our presenters. Vashti and Jesse, would you please close us out? 
Thank you, Dr. Crawford, and congratulations to everyone recognized. We've reached the very end of today's program, but before we break, I also want to thank this community for your dedication. I'm proud to have joined, and I'm proud to be a part of the great North Seattle College community with you all. Well said, Vashti. And before we go, I want to put a plug in for our 2022 graduates. We're excited to celebrate them in two ways. One at the graduation fair on North campus on Thursday, June 9th, and also during the commencement at T-Mobile Park on Tuesday, June 21st. We hope to see you all there in person. Thank you all. Now we're going to invite everyone to turn on their cameras and say hello and congratulations to all of today's honorees. Yay! Yay! Congratulations, Yay! everyone! Congratulations! 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 Congratulations!